Not if I wang. Write a ten-word story before you reach the finish line. You must be running while writing. Must be. Shoot! Fastest across the finish line with a proper story wins. What do you mean a proper story? Could have a start, middle and end. Quite, I feel quite anxious about this one. Running and writing, writing a ten-word story. That's counting, running and writing. Counting, running and writing. Could you read the last line of the task, please, Phil? Yeah, just give me a second. Phil, can you read the last line? Your time starts now. Thank you, Phil. How many words? Ten, please. I must be running what? Three-part structure, introduction, conflict, resolution. She needed shoes and found its mother. Did it say write or tell a ten-word story? All the information's on the task. <laughs> Finish? I've just remembered it's supposed to be ten words. OK, I've got a story. <sighs> An ogre was hungry. <laughs> ate, ate a child. It was his. Thank you, Phil. And you've definitely written that. Well, written, you know, write a story is not... It doesn't literally mean write. We say Homer wrote the Iliad, but we also all understand that it was probably passed down through uh, oral tradition. So you've used the oral tradition? <laughs> OK, I'll, I'll, let it, I'll let him know. OK. Thank yeah. you, Phil. All right, thanks, guys. Good story. Oh, yeah, there was a pen and paper here. <laughs> I also regret saying oral tradition while my dick was out. <laughs> so, the oral... <laughs> you're using the, the or oral tradition of Homer's Iliad. Yes. Yeah, I, well, I enjoyed that as an explanation. I'm tempted to buy it, you know. OK. And I think the story was pretty powerful. Mm-hmm. Beginning, Ogre was hungry, middle, he fulfills that hunger. Twist, he's eaten his own child, which is an act of... Ha happiness. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know you were coming to me. Where is he? Where's Alex? Deliver this task to Alex in the most spectacular way. Alex is in his caravan. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Inside a cake? No. It's not very good. It's not very spectacular. Ah, oh, if we put it in a cake. What are they called, those Bertie Bassett? What are they called? The singing, dancing... <laughs> Bosby Berkeley, not Bertie Bassett. <laughs> I think that'll be spectacular. There's one left. The last man is Phil Wang. Yes, please. Here comes Phil. Hello, Alex. I'm American celebrity Taylor Swift. Thank you, Taylor. It says F U James A. Castor. <laughs> What's this? When we started filming this, I thought that James and I would have like a rivalry. Um, and then I forgot about that. <laughs> Taylor Swift, a big icon for you. Well, just a big celebrity, a big famous celebrity. Yeah, well, he managed well, to get the actual Osman. I got that was actually... 
What? You don't think that was... Oh, OK, maybe that was the actual Taylor Swift. Thank you. Gut Instinct tells me it was a not senior member of production crew <laughs> who comes from the north of England. <laughs> It's like a scene from Saw. Oh, my goodness. You were having your blood pressure monitored. Yes. <laughs> I have no medical skills. Good. Oh, my God. Excite Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Greatest increase from Alex's current heart rate wins. You have 20 minutes. <laughs> your time starts now. <laughs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? The time starts now. OK, I'm just going just gonna to think about this for a minute. Just quietly alone, OK? So I'm going <laughs> to just... <laughs> what we actually hope We're actually. measuring my pulse, so it's the bottom number on that machine. Right. It takes 30 seconds to read it. Yeah. And uh, my starting rate was somewhere between 60 and 70 for all of them. So this is coffee, black coffee, for four cubes of sugar. It felt like five. Five cubes of sugar. Would you do that? Please, if you will, Alex. <laughs> Sixty-seven is where we started. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was a near miss. His hat fell off. So that was um, 61. 61. 61 down there. And what, what was the compilation called? Near misses. Yeah, they missed every time. Yeah, they? they miss every time. Yeah. How quickly was it between um, pouring him a cup of coffee that you went for the time served technique of uh, hitting a pan with a hammer? <laughs> To be fair to me, I did try nearly kicking him in the face for about five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I saw the karate stuff. Mm. But I can't comment on that, cos all I can see is your genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of what you did was relaxing. You gave that's me a hot drink. Did. That's what you do to relax, isn't it? Yeah, at one point he reclined my chair. That was nice. <laughs> yeah. And then he showed me these clips of a Russian dash cam. But I, it said near misses, so I knew every time... Yeah, everyone was OK. So how quickly into the video did you realise that oh, no one was going to get hurt? Immediately. immediately. It was the most <laughs> relaxing video I've ever seen. My, my heart rate dropped by six in the... <laughs> in the time. Compose the best 30-second piece of music. The best? Yes, please. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Oh, my God! Can you play all of these instruments? We can play a mix of them. Yeah. I'm a percussionist myself. <laughs> if you think of sticks at all. Well, that's fine. OK. You're not a musician, mate. Um, <laughs> What's that guy? It's a melodic... Oh, let's have a go at that. Well, that's staying. <laughs> the first movement we're going to hear today <laughs> is by Philip Wang. We kill Phil with the yellow blues. One, two, three, four. essentially get some talented musicians to play 12-bar blues? Uh, with a tune that I made up. Did and you...? Did you hear the trumpet solo? I heard the trumpet solo. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like one of the band had his mum turn up outside and she was honking her horn at <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like how the blues was born. <laughs> I was told that you play the trumpet. I played the trumpet. 
in that clip. 